The radicular pain uh, basically is just pain that's caused by compression of a nerve root as it exits out of your spinal column. Uh, it can happen either in your neck and give you pain that radiates down into your shoulder blade and down into your hands. It can give you weakness, numbness and tingling. Uh, it can give you a lot of pain. Uh, it can also happen in your low back and it's what people commonly call sciatica going down their leg. In the younger age group, most commonly it's from a disc herniation. Uh, if you think of your spine like a series of bones put together, in between each one you have a disc. Uh, that disc, uh, for all intents and purposes, is like a jelly donut. And you squirt some of that jelly out uh, and it will hit on that nerve. It's irritating to the nerve, but it also causes a pressure phenomenon, much like having a garden hose and sticking a rock on it. Uh, and once you do that, anywhere down the line from that nerve, you can get the pain, weakness, uh, or numbness and tingling. Usually if your symptoms last longer than six weeks, that's when we kind of get more aggressive with it. But if you have pretty profound weakness, really not the kind of thing you should wait on. Uh, because there's a lot of things and just be, that we can do for you, just because you have radicular pain doesn't automatically mean you need an operation. Uh, a lot of times, if you look at it, we can get you better with therapy or epidural injections uh, to try to quell some of those symptoms while your body winds up healing itself.